May you find happiness and peace. And may your home stand the test of time. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. Today I'll be reacting to another video from Charlie Keck. Today's video is titled Charlie Keck Clashes with Libertarian Over Role of the Police. So without further ado, let's get started. So I used to be a conservative. I no longer am now. I'm actually a libertarian now. And a big reason for that is uh, what I see as a contradiction within conservatism between supporting freedom, freedom of speech, to bear arms, and support for law enforcement. Uh, because uh, if the government were to infringe on our freedoms even more than it already has, such as banning assault rifles, for example, then the police would be the ones to enforce such tyrannical edicts as the Canadian truckers discovered. So is there a contradiction here for a conservatism? Why or why not? Very smart question. I can see where you're coming from. So what, the way I would answer it is that we look at the FBI a lot differently than a local sheriff. So local sheriffs have been the ones defying all of these kind of gun grabbing regulations and measures because the sheriff is probably someone in your local community you trust, probably someone that got pu elected publicly, probably someone whose kids goes to the local school and almost always is a strong adherent to the Constitution. What I think you are yielding towards is something you and I could have a lot of agreement with, which is it's the FBI, the ones that take the knee for BLM, the ones that are calling for mass gun control. Do I trust them? Absolutely not. But do I think that local police is not just important but necessary for human flourishing? Absolutely. And so I'm a localist with this stuff. I think that the less federal control when it comes to a lot of these issues, the better. I question so much of the legitimacy of what the FBI is doing recently, and it pains me to say that as an American patriot, where I look at everything they do through a political lens now, from raiding Mar-a-Lago, to spying on Donald Trump, to the raiding of the homes of pro-life leaders. So your apprehension as a new libertarian is totally right. But I would just challenge you to be like, hey, that's a lot different than Sheriff Mark Lamb, for example in Arizona, who is elected by the local people and doing everything he possibly can to go after smugglers and would never enforce a gun confiscation measure. And so we, we need to support our local police. Very, very important. They're in our community, they're one of us. Where the FBI is though, I look at them as almost kind of infantry for the regime. Does that make sense? Well, it's that you know police, whether federal, state, or local, uh, they're tasked with upholding, you know, all the laws of the United States of America, federal, state, and local. So if the federal government were to, for example, pass a law that banned assault rifles, then wouldn't the local p police then be compelled to enforce that law? Is that not something that, that That's a good question. You? We've already seen, though, a track record and a pattern of local police and sheriffs, hundreds, saying, I will not enforce any of these. Montana, for example, okay, came out through every one of their sheriffs and said, we're not going to enforce an assault rifle ban. We will ignore the federal government. So I would just challenge you to kind of look at some of that, at how some of these more local law enforcement agencies are already vocalizing that they are willing to say we are not going to enforce an unconstitutional measure from the federal government. But your apprehension is well-founded. I don't consider it a contradiction. I consider it a nuance and an important difference. But I think you would also agree you need some form of law enforcement. And I would much rather be policed by people that live in our communities that are close to us and share our concerns than somebody far off in a distant land. And I'll close with this. The left does not want to defund the police. They want to destroy local police and replace it with a national police force. And, and so you and I can definitely have agreement that a national police force is horrifying. It's something we do not support. I want thousands of local sheriffs that are accountable to the people and far less federal involvement kind of parachuting into our communities telling us what to do. It makes sense. It makes sense. Especially the path whereby he's, um, he said... Um, some chefs don't want to agree with the, like if if they decide to ban assault rifle, they are not going to you know follow the government on that. They are going to let people still have their gun, and I feel like to me, if if it depends on where you are in, in the world in the country, you know, if if I'm I'm a chef or I'm a police officer, I know that my part of the country is not safe. You know, people are are assaulted every day, and without them having a gun to defend themselves. They are left vulnerable. I'm not going to follow what the government is saying and allow them to be killed simply because um, the government said I should take away their gun. 
I'm going to do what will work for them because if I should take away their gun, now the target will be on me because I'm the one having the gun or me and my police officers. So if, if I'm to give them their gun to defend themselves, it, it depends because, you see, like I, I said in one of my videos, I was privileged to shoot uh, certain people, you know, um, I'm a videographer, so I was privileged to, you know, document their, their stay in Ghana. And the man said, he's from Chicago, like, I think their teacher said they almost canceled their trip simply, simply because one of their students was shot at. So it depends on where you were staying. And it depends on how people, the violence in that place, you know, if, if you are taking away my gun that I will use to defend myself and expecting me to rely on the police to defend me, the police might not be there when something, when someone decides to hurt me. So if I can't defend myself, then, then what can I do? So I, I feel sometimes... People should be allowed to hold their gun, you know, to be able to defend themselves. You never can tell what the world can turn into because a whole lot of people don't like Americans. I don't mean, yeah, a whole lot of countries. Maybe because Americans have been trying to put their, themselves out there and they don't like America. So if, let's say, some, God forbid, something happened. So should the citizen be left vulnerable because the government don't want them to hold guns? Well, they should look for ways to manage this gun, you know, look for ways to educate people on how to use it look for a way to the same way we have license that every every four years you go to you, you you go to the what's it called your license office you you check you check your eyesight you check several things your mental health and all if you are still able to continue driving on the road before they renew your license they should be those laws should be there in our weapons you know check these people are they still able to handle this weapon maybe because of age because of their mental health are they mentally okay to handle this weapon are they into activities or you check their track record if you feel like yes they are good their record are clean then you can let them have this, this gun to defend themselves anyway just a beautiful one let me know what you take in the comment section if this is your first time visiting the channel click on the subscribe button thanks for watching and remember this